Welcome to the first issue of my 3 minute series in which I will tell you briefly whether a product is worth its money. Today's product is the Anycubic i3 Mega 3D printer which was kindly provided by GearBest for review. Nevertheless all opinions on the printer are my personal ones. In the decent delivery packaging is a nearly ready to use printer to which Anycubic has added a lot of extras. Speaking of which, the printer comes with a pair of latex gloves, a spool of PLA, a decent scraper, an additional V6 hotend, which is certainly a knockoff, as well as mounting tools, an unbranded micro SD card with adapters, all necessary screws, another end stop, an acrylic spool holder for self assembly, and all necessary cables. For about 300 euros, the printer provides neat features such as a hardware filament sensor or the firmware enabled possibility to continue aborted print jobs. The stable construction of the printer, conceived as a Bowden setup, is also convincing. For assembly, the portal containing the X and Z axis has to be mounted to the base part with the Y axis by using the 8 provided M5 screws. The electrical connection is made through plugs and is carried out quickly. The printer was ready for the first test run after only 30 minutes and greets you with an annoying sound. Since the mechanics are heavily greased, that's why the latex gloves are included, the print bed should be cleaned with alcohol before the first use thoroughly. The printer has a resistive touchscreen that allows you to access the most necessary set of settings. The text output is limited to English and Chinese only. Moreover, the menu navigation is moderately organized and the input of numerical values can only be performed slowly by increments. A print server such as Octoprint should help with the operational comfort. The biggest criticism of the hardware is the prolonged heating of the print bed. It takes an eternity to reach 85 degrees Celsius, a temperature which is commonly used for many filaments like PETG. It takes 6 minutes 38 seconds until the bed has finished heating. Calibration is carried out by the ancient paper method. There is a more expensive version with a sensor which supports you during the bed leveling, but this is far from the comfort of an MK2 from Prusa. Nevertheless, the calibration goes fairly quickly and I was able to perform my first successful print on the well adhering print pad soon after. The printed objects I finished so far, hmm, they look very good, and the resuming of the suspended jobs works flawlessly. Sadly, the poor documentation and software support are a point of criticism. All in all, the printer convinced with the price tag and a simple hardware assembly. The provided features are good, however the slowly heating print bed is unpleasant. So is the documentation, which for example only covers Cura settings in textual form. For those of you seeking for a stable, relatively silent and reasonably priced 3D printer, the Anycubic i3 Mega should be worth a closer look. You will find more information and my own slicer settings in the video description below.